right, it's uh, <laughs> that's too funny. It's 4:20. <laughs> uh, it's 4:17 actually. It's July 3rd, and as you probably saw earlier, there's one thing about this whole trip that really fucking drives me nuts, pisses me off. There's only one part of this whole journey that sucks, and that's being out of smokes. Uh, being out of smokes and weed, okay, let's be real. But uh, it really upsets me on two, two levels that, one, I guess I honestly can't quit, and two, I've kind of even chosen not to quit. Um, but cigarettes and weed are the root <laughs> of all evil out here. And does that mean I should be quitting smoking? And I should deal with that evil and conquer it? Or does that mean that there's more important things in my heart and soul right now that I need to be working on and dealing with other than smoke some weed. And I think that's what I believe. I think I believe that we'll cross that damn bridge when we get to it. Right now, we came out here to find out if we wanted to live. We didn't even come out here to live. We just came out here to figure out if we wanted to live. So, we've recently realized that we want to live Hell, we've even recently made some huge progress and had some huge revelations in the area of, you know, forgiveness and acceptance and, you know, certain things like that. But, punchline, smoke some weed, it's fucking heaven on earth out here. You dive deep into your heart, you dive deep into your soul, you get honest, you get real, you do weird, crazy things that you've never done before, you, you know, you have a good damn time trying to do what I'm doing out here, which is ultimately very difficult, without <laughs> smokes and weed, for me, sucks, and I don't even care to do it without smoke some weed. So, point is, is this afternoon, I spoke a little bit about being angry and upset because I didn't have a smoke. And the punchline is, I decided to get out of camp. I think I saw somebody over here across the way earlier. And uh, I was reading my book. I read, I'm on page like 140 something. Um, that's in two days. And I'm just kicking ass. And, uh, sorry, excuse me. I'm on fire. <laughs> We're going to get a fire. So, I read my book and I actually took a nap again this afternoon and uh, just kind of chilly -oed. Okay, you ready for this? Watch this. <laughs> um, I took a nap for about 20 minutes. It wasn't even a nap. It was the book laid down on my chest like this, just crash. And uh, I woke up and I thought I saw somebody over there just kind of meandering around and checking things out. And I decided, let's get out of camp and go over there and walk around, maybe introduce myself, tell some stories, and, you know, I could just see a human being. And uh, maybe they have a smoke. Yes, honestly. And uh, so I go cruising over there and there's nobody over there. And I decided to just kind of meander around and... You know, this is like 1 o'clock, so it's three hours later, so this is a while ago. Um, I go, and I uh, I decided to just go walk and cruise around in the bushes, and if I can, I full on... I better get to the punchline here real quick, because <laughs> I'm running out of juice on the camera. I go over, and I'm all meandering around, and I, uh, I don't want to, but I want to... I'm not sure. Um, maybe I want to put this right here. Probably not. 
Maybe. Probably not. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably not. I was doing that on purpose to be a smart ass. But, uh, so no, I'm fucking him out in the bushes. I'm just cruising around and checking shit out. And I decided to walk down the road. I walked down the road like, I don't know, two, three miles. And who comes around the corner but uh, Richard and Thomas. And they're all, hey, dude, fucking, we got some shit for you from, uh, from, <laughs> I don't know why I'm tweaking out on the camera. Actually, I do know why, but I'll tell you why in a minute. It's, it's fucking Thomas and Richard. And they're all, hey, fucking Wayne's clutch is kind of acting up, and, you know, he didn't want to drive all the way out, so they sent this for you. So, just real quick, bottom line is, this afternoon, once again, I'm Angry Dave going, fuck, I need a smoke, when's Kaylin and Ned going to get here, and I hope they get what I need, and whatever. Um, so, this... This margarine container, this uh, butter container, is what they sent out. So they had Thomas and Richard drive 10, 12 miles to bring this to me. So the first thing I see is is the half a bag of peanuts or a little bit of the peanuts from the other night when I was there that I bought and left. Right on top, a big old, <laughs> a big old nug. And I mean, I'm talking the kill. Just totally, yeah. Oh, heaven on earth right there. That's That right there represents at least 48 hours of, yeah, happiness. I'm sorry. A Duracell Phillips screwdriver. When I was there the other day and my thing blew up, I uh, asked for a Phillips screwdriver. So he knew that I needed a Phillips screwdriver. I don't need one. I had one, but... Original chili with carny beans. Top ramen. Dude. <laughs> Top ramen. A sucker. An entire bag of tobacco with papers and a lighter. <laughs> Sorry. I got it. Fucking... Okay, I probably should have been doing this from the beginning. Okay, so we got... We'll go back a step. <laughs> we got fucking... We got Top Ramen. We got fucking Chili. We got a Sucker. We got that Nug, <laughs> which is, as you can see, the kill. We got an entire bag of Premier Tobacco. And it's probably not... Oh, it is. No, it's, it's not sealed. So, okay. Either way, who cares what brand it is or whatever. It's an entire bag of tobacco, an entire thing of papers, and a lighter. <laughs> We've got the Phillips screwdriver. We've got one dice. <laughs> a headlamp. Dude, that headlamp, I don't care if it's dollar store, man. That headlamp, look at that. It shows red or it has the regular light. It's Energizer. I mean, and it flips down. Watch this. What up? <laughs> what up? Dude, a headlamp. They sent me a fucking headlamp. This has got to be tuna fish. Yep. Tuna fish. And four things of mayonnaise that they snaked from a store. Now I fucking tell you what, man. Tuna fish, a buck. Top ramen, 25 cents. <laughs> fucking chili, a buck. There's two bucks. That bud right there has got to be five bucks. That's eight bucks. Tobacco's got to be two or three bucks. That's 13 bucks. Fucking that right there is something they use every day. So that's almost fucking priceless. I mean... Dude, it's just amazing. I okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Battery's going red. I've got the uh, I got the solar panel out there. Hopefully we can. Oh, and then Thomas and them gave me two beers, so I drank two beers. I'm gonna drag the battery up 
plug in the inverter, get this charging, and put this on the charger. But uh, I'll check in in a minute. 